Ah, October, the month of dressing up like Frankenstein and wrapping up warm. It might be horrible outside, but on the plus side, it's the perfect excuse for cuddling up with your Xbox and settling in with a few games. And luckily, there are plenty of new releases to keep you warm. October is offering your first chance to sample Project X Cloud, a new service which puts the full power of an Xbox One right in your pocket. xCloud is a cloud gaming platform which gives you a new way of playing your favorite Xbox games on the go. You can stream over Wi-Fi and mobile networks and play on your PC, tablet or phone using an Xbox One controller connected via Bluetooth. If you've got an Android device, then good news, because the Project X Cloud Preview is coming to the UK, US and Korea later this month, and it's exclusively on Android. There will initially be four games available to stream. Halo 5 Guardians, Gears 5, Killer Instinct, and Sea of Thieves, with more being added during the preview period. To participate in the preview, you'll need a phone or tablet running Android 6.0 or higher. That supports Bluetooth 4.0 and a Bluetooth-enabled Xbox One wireless controller to connect to it. What you don't need is to own any games. Everything will be streamed directly from the cloud, giving you free access to all available games for as long as the preview runs. To sign up, just head over to xbox.com forward slash xbox dash game dash streaming. There'll be a link down in the description for you to use as well. A limited number of invites will be sent out in the coming weeks, with more people invited in as the program expands. If you're lucky enough to get into the preview, you just download the Microsoft Game Streaming app onto your Android device and get playing. Listen to the shadows. They whisper death. Kicking off the month's game releases is Destiny 2 Shadowkeep, a huge new expansion for the multiplayer looter shooter. Shadowkeep takes you to the moon where those wizards infamously come from and it's absolutely packed with new quests, exotic armor and weapons and customizable close combat finishes that work a little like emotes but deadly. The expansion will also give you access to Season of the Undying updates and a brand new raid to really test your skills. Shadowkeep is part of a huge reinvention of Destiny 2 where you'll now be able to carry your character and saves across from PC to console. And there's even a free to play option called New Light, which lets you sample large parts of the game all without spending a single penny. Another thing for you Super Destiny fans, we've been lucky enough to get our hands on the Destiny 2 Shadowkeep Collector's Edition, which I believe are sold out everywhere at the moment. But there's one thing I really want to show you inside, which is the glyph. What we'll also do is we'll leave a link down in the description to all the other contents inside. But this is like especially exciting. So if we open it up, you've got a load of content, including a letter from Eris Moore, and you've got this little moon case, which is filled uh, with a load of awesome Destiny swagger as well and then this is the thing that really excites me so on the bottom you've got the destiny 2 shadow keep collector's edition place pad under hive cryptoglyph to display so this here right is to help you display this which if we pull it out of the box is a full-on cryptoglyph that you would have seen Eris Morn using in the game. And what's amazing, if you use this in combination with the letter in the collector's edition, there's actually a code hidden inside here because these move around. Uh, it's just something that I thought was really cool and that you should go check out. There'll be a link down in the description below. Uh, and one of our lucky viewers over on mixer.com forward slash Xbox on actually won this. So that's pretty cool. October is also a great month for any fans of military shooters. First up, we've got Ghost Recon Breakpoint, which enlists you to the Cova Op Squad for a mission on the Pacific island of Aroa. The ghosts are as deadly as ever, with players picking one of four classes with a unique equipment, abilities and other perks, but for once, they're not the most dangerous thing on the island. You're being tracked by an army of drones, mercenaries with all the same abilities as the ghosts themselves, and even John Bernthal. That's right, the Punisher himself is on your tail. Whether you're playing solo or in a co-op squad of four, it'll take everything you've got to survive in Ghost Recon Breakpoint. Let's 
Let's be honest, me hearties. You probably have one multiplayer pirate game in your life already, but get ready to make room for another because Atlas is coming to Xbox with a completely fresh approach to life on the high seas. Coming from the developers of Ark Survival Evolved, Atlas offers a huge persistent world that can hold thousands of players, but you can also play solo in a private session with just your friends if that's what jollies your roger. You can build your own ships and fortresses, encounter sea monsters and ghost ships, and much, much more. All from the 8th of October when Atlas lays anchor on Xbox Game Preview, with crossplay between Xbox One and PC. Also coming to Xbox One this month is Frostpunk Console Edition, taking the apocalyptic Ice Age strategy game and giving it a controller-friendly makeover. As mayor of a steampunk settlement of survivors, you're in charge of building, managing resources, and making tough decisions about who and what you're willing to sacrifice to make it through the deep freeze. Coming complete with post-launch content, you can pick up Frostpunk Console Edition from the 11th of October you just might want to put some gloves on first. Our board-certified insurance program covers a wide range of conditions, like robophobia and fear of heights. One of the games we're most excited about this month is Outer Worlds. It's a sprawling RPG from Obsidian, the legendary developer behind Fallout New Vegas and Pillars of Eternity. Set on the wild west frontier of space, The Outer Worlds has you exploring gorgeous sci-fi landscapes and telling your own story however you want. Your character can be the hero, the villain or something in between. Your choice of skills and even stats can even bend the type of game you're playing. Specialize in shooting and The Outer Worlds plays like a standard first person shooter. If you want something more tactical, you can pour points into a slow-mo power that works a lot like Fallout's VAT system. Or focus on leadership to put the spotlight on your party members, letting you boss them around and hardly lift a finger. Or you can give your character a really low intelligence score, opening up a load of unique dialogue options that turn them into a sitcom character and give you a more Borderlands-style comedy experience. And best of all, it's coming to Xbox Game Pass Ultimate right from day one, so get ready for your own unique space adventure from the 25th of October. Then going weapons-free on the 25th of October as well is Call of Duty Modern Warfare. 12 years on from the first Modern Warfare, this game is trying to reinvent what a modern COD looks like. The campaign tells a more cinematic and nuanced story than ever before, following Captain Price on a journey into the grey areas of war. And then of course, you've got that all-important competitive multiplayer. Multiplayer has been given a major refresh with a brand new gunsmith weapon customization system, matches that range from the close quarters 2v2 gunfight to the enormous ground war that can play up to 100 players. And for the first time, Modern Warfare supports crossplay between console and PC, meaning you can show your friends who's the real tier 1 operator, however they prefer to play. Hell basically runs itself nowadays. We've also been given our first taste of what's coming to Xbox Game Pass this month. Coming on the 17th, Felix the Reaper is a romantic comedy about death and what comes next. You're put in charge of making sure people meet their grisly end, as intended. But Felix isn't such a grim reaper as you steer him around each level, making sure to stick to the shadows as he busts out a sweet set of dance moves which should set you up perfectly for After Party, which asks one simple question. Can you party harder than the devil himself? It's an adventure game from the developers of Oxenfree that takes you on a bar crawl through hell as you try to challenge Satan for your chance to escape the underworld. Along the way, there's beer pong, dancing, hilarious conversations, and mystical drinks that alter your personality and abilities. So, pretty much everything you'd expect from a good night out. You can go to hell on the 29th of October when After Party arrives on Xbox Game Pass. I mean, these complete idiots really have no idea what they're getting into. I need a drink. Is he talking to us? And if you're not already signed up, then have we got a deal for you. Throughout October, new members can get a month of Xbox Game Pass Ultimate for £1, including unlimited music with Spotify Premium for six months if you're a new user to both services. 
It's the perfect way of making sure you've always got the right soundtrack to accompany any play session. I am crypto. I am a legend. And as if that wasn't enough brand new games, October also has a huge update for one of the titles we've been playing all year in the form of Apex Legends Season 3. This update waves goodbye to Kings Canyon and introduces an entire new map for you to all battle royale over. And just like you would expect, Season 3 also adds a new weapon, new loot, and a new legend in the form of Crypto. A Bloodhound-style tracker armed with an aerial drone for scouting and an EMP blast. For more details on what's new in this season and how to make the most of Crypto's abilities, check out our dedicated video by clicking over here. Or here, it's one of these corners. We recently got the chance to go inside the cockpit for Flight Simulator 2020. It's the latest installment of Microsoft's longest franchise and it's looking incredible. Letting you fly across the entire Earth replicated in stunning detail thanks to some nifty satellite scanning technology. For more on why Flight Simulator is worth getting excited about, stay tuned to the channel for our dedicated video coming later this month. It looks incredible. And if you're after a new controller to see you through those dark, long autumn nights of gaming, then look no further. The Nightops Camo Special Edition wireless controller goes on sale from the 17th of October with a rugged black, grey and gold camouflage pattern, plus etched trigger grips that make it the ideal companion for your favourite shooter. Damn it! Just die! As ever, October brings with it four new games with gold titles free to any Xbox Live Gold or Xbox Game Pass Ultimate subscriber. All month long, you can pick up Tembo the Badass Elephant. Yeah, that's right. An action platformer from the makers of Pokemon featuring a considerably less pocket-sized monster. As Tembo, you bash your way through levels, stomping villains and chomping peanuts. Sticking with the cartoon animal theme, we've also got Disney's Bolt, available until the 15th. In this family-friendly action-adventure game, you switch between Bolt, the super dog, and his owner Penny as they work together to take down the evil Dr. Calico. Offering slightly less family-friendly thrills is Friday the 13th, the game. A multiplayer horror title where you either play as the teens in a slasher flick or as the one doing the slashing. None other than Jason Voorhees himself. Available from the 16th of October, it's a perfect pick for Halloween with some brilliantly gory kills if Jason does catch up with his prey. And speaking of gory kills, Ninja Gaiden 3 Razor's Edge features brutally challenging combat where every slash of your sword sends arms flying and buckets of blood splattering across your screen. You can grab that from the 16th until the end of the month. And one final bit of news for the month, tickets are now on sale for XO19, next month's huge Xbox celebration taking place right here in London. It all starts on Thursday the 14th of November with the next edition of Inside Xbox and the first ever Xbox Fan Fest on UK soil. The show then runs until November 16th with world first playable demos, developer panels and exclusive merch for attendees. All proceeds will go to the UK disability gaming charity Special Effects. To get your ticket just head over to xbox.com forward slash x019. The Xbox On team will of course all be at the event and we hope to see you there. In the meantime, to stay up to date with all the latest goings on, subscribe to the channel and jump over to mixer.com forward slash Xbox on every weekday from half two to check out our daily streams. Smash the like button and make sure to say hi down in the comments below and we'll see you next time. Bye.